The alarm bell has appeared for the Russian economy, indicating an upcoming wave of company bankruptcies. The Russian economy can no longer handle the so-called special operation. The analyst of the Sonar 2050 project, a supporter of the war, Ivan Lizan, openly told that economic problems that Russia has faced in recent years are the consequences of the so-called SVO. Commenting on the increase in the interest rate in the Russian Federation to 21%, he warned Russians that there is no limit and this figure will continue to go up. In this way, the Central Bank of Russia is trying to contain the horrific inflation that Russia has encountered due to aggression against Ukraine. Considering that the Kremlin does not plan to wind down the war, this means that the problems in the country's economy will continue to grow. We must understand why inflation is growing. Moreover, an honest and adult explanation can be provided. The main reason for high inflation is the ongoing special operation. We do not know how long it will last. Since Russia has become involved in this matter, it must be brought to a logical conclusion to the liquidation of Ukrainian statehood. This is a priority. The state does not spare money to achieve this goal. Inflation is, in fact, the reverse side of the model of staffing the RF armed forces, where the emphasis is on attracting volunteers to military service with the help of a very solid material package. This material package does not come from nowhere, the Russian propagandist said. Russian Z-War correspondent Maxim Kalashnikov writes that almost 40% of Russian entrepreneurs have recently encountered an increase in late payments from their counterparties. This is a harbinger of very big economic problems in the country. According to the Z-War correspondent, already in the future year of 2025, Russia may face a wave of bankruptcies of the country's key enterprises. This will lead to disorganization of the rear and ultimately to defeat in the war against Ukraine. The government understands this and therefore will agree to a truce, even on the West's terms. Otherwise, it will face an economic crisis and the need to mobilize reservists, the consequences of which risk becoming explosive, Kalashnikov wrote. In fact, according to him, Russia has not managed to achieve any of the goals of the so-called SVO. Many people benefited from the war, but not the Russian Federation and not Ukraine, the enlightened propagandist stated. Multi-talented music titan Quincy Jones has died at 91. His publicist said he died on Sunday night at his home in the Bel Air section of Los Angeles, surrounded by his family. Tonight, with full but broken hearts, we must share the news of our father and brother Quincy Jones passing, the family said in a statement. And although this is an incredible loss for our family, we celebrate the great life that he lived and know there will never be another like him. Jones left a vast legacy that ranged from producing Michael Jackson's historic thriller album to writing prize-winning film and television scores. He also collaborated with Frank Sinatra, Ray Charles and hundreds of other recording artists. Jones rose from running with gangs on the south side of Chicago to the very heights of show business, becoming one of the first black executives to thrive in Hollywood and amassing an extraordinary musical catalog that includes some of the richest moments of rhythm and song. He kept company with presidents and foreign leaders, movie stars and musicians, philanthropists and business leaders. He toured with Count Basie and Lionel Hampton, arranged records for Sinatra and Ella Fitzgerald, composed the soundtracks for Roots and, in the heat of the night, organized President Bill Clinton's first inaugural celebration and oversaw the all-star recording of We Are the World, the 1985 charity record for famine relief in Africa. Top honors likely go to his productions with Jackson, Off the Wall, Thriller, and Bad were albums near universal in their style and appeal. Jones' versatility and imagination helped set off the explosive talents of Jackson as he transformed from child star to the king of pop. On such classic tracks as Billie Jean and Don't Stop Till You Get Enough, Jones and Jackson fashioned a global soundscape out of disco, funk, rock, pop, R&B and jazz and African chants. For Thriller, some of the most memorable touches originated with Jones, who recruited Eddie Van Halen for a guitar solo on the genre-fusing Beat It and brought in Vincent Price for a ghoulish voiceover on the title track. 
Thriller sold more than 20 million copies in 1983 alone and has contended with the Eagles' greatest hits 1971-1975, among others as the best-selling album of all time. The list of his honors and awards fills 18 pages in his 2001 autobiography, Q, including 27 Grammys at the time, now 28, an Honorary Academy Award and an Emmy for Roots. He also received France's Legion d'honneur, the Rudolf Valentino Award from the Republic of Italy and a Kennedy Center tribute for his contributions to American culture. He was the subject of a 1990 documentary, Listen Up, The Lives of Quincy Jones, and a 2018 film by daughter Rashida Jones. His memoir made him a best-selling author. Thank you.